three, two, one. Hey guys, good morning, it's Miss Z. Okay, before we start calendar time, I want to follow up with a couple things that we've been doing, okay? So first of all, y'all have watched that lettuce video um, when Miss Z, when we made the healthy snack and then we cut this bottom part of the lettuce off and put it in the water. Okay, well I filmed that video about four days ago and here is my lettuce after four days. So has anybody done this yet? So it grows super duper fast. And so I wanna encourage you, if your family is eating lettuce right now, to go ahead and cut off the end, put it in some water, and then it's gonna grow. So I wanted to show you that my plant is already growing. Okay, then my other thing I wanna catch up all on, you know, yesterday, my poor cookie dar jar dog, it got knocked in the head with the alligator tail and it fell on the ground and broke into a bunch of pieces. So Missy got his poor head all glued back together. And like Jacob said, he, ha he has some battle scars. He has some battle scars having to partake in Missy's video. And you can't tell, and he's missing a little piece of his mouth, but that's okay. We got him all back together. Okay, so I did want to kind of follow up with those two things. All right, now we're going to go over here and have calendar time. Okay, so what you got to tell me is what day is it? What day of the week is it? And I am super confused because I do these videos one day ahead of time. So I have them ready in the morning for you. And so today is... April 2nd, okay, which is, what day of the week is it today? Can somebody tell me? Uh-oh, let's see, lost her marker. Okay, hold on, I gotta go get my marker. <laughs> Boo, okay. <laughs> My mom is here and she is probably thinking this is crazy. Okay. So anyway, so it is, what's the day of the week today? All right. It is Thursday. Okay. Now I've got some more props up here today and I'm going to try not to break them. Okay. So here we go. This is what you need to write down on your mat. Now, listen to me. Y'all know how to do this. You don't take the white paper out of your mat and write on the white paper. The white paper stays inside your mat and you write on top of your mat, then you can erase it, okay? So it is Thursday, okay? Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. And tomorrow is what? Friday. Okay, very good. All right, so what month is it? Tell your mom, your dad, whoever's watching this with you, tell what month it is, okay? It is April, okay? So, if you remember, we're going to spell April, A-P-R-I-L. And if yesterday was April 1st, then today would be April, what is that? Second. Okay, April 2nd, and what is the year? Okay, 2020, okay? So again, we say it is the fourth month, the second day, 2020, okay? Now, just like we do in class, sometimes we forget to fill out our big calendar, don't we? All right, so we're gonna do that today. So everybody has the April calendar. Let's say the days of the week together, just like we do in class. Okay, here we go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so yesterday, Wednesday was April 1st, so we can cross that one out. And so which one do we have to cross out for today? April what? What number is that? Okay, April second. Okay, so we have April 1st and April 2nd crossed out. Okay, so when you get a chance, I want you to work on this with your mom when you get done with the video. All right, and now we're going to kind of do something cool. 
okay? Because I have three things here, all right? I have three things. I have a pelican, all right? A plant, and then look at these awesome things. Can anybody tell what these are? I'm gonna really try not to drop them and break them. Okay, these are pigs, okay? Miss Silly has a lot of kind of quirky, quirky animal, big animals at my house, don't I? Okay, so if we look at the plant, the pig, and the pelican, I want you to tell me how these three things are alike, okay? How, how are they alike? Now, this is really stretching your thinking a little bit. I totally understand that. Okay, so first of all, guess what? They are all living things, okay? They're all living. A plant is living, a pig is living, a pelican is living, okay? So that they are all living things, okay? Meaning that they're all living things, all three of these, what do they need to drink? All three of them have to have water. Okay, they have to have water. Okay, so these are how they're like. All right, they have, there's a pelican, they're living. They have to have water. What else? What else do you think that how they're like? Can anybody think of that? Hmm, how about they're all outside? Do they all go outside? Yeah, the pelicans are outside. Pigs definitely go outside. Even though I think some of y'all's bedrooms look like maybe some pigs live in there, don't they? Okay, what about this? A plant, is a plant outside? Yeah, it definitely can grow outside. So they're all outside. Okay, so those are things, how these three things are alike. You know how else they are like? I want you to listen to how they, what they start with, okay? P -p Pelican, p -p Pig, p, p, plant. What letter makes the p sound? Can anybody guess what that is? Okay, it is the letter P. Okay, look, the letter P. All right, so plant, okay, plant, pig, pelican all right they all start with the letter p now i'm going to show you my board and i want you to see if you can find the letter p on this board okay where's the letter p and i want you to circle it you should have this written down on your mat and i want you to circle the letter p Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna circle it. There we go. I circled the letter P, all right? So I'm gonna spell my words. I have a plant, a pig, and a pelican, okay? So there's my three. The plant, the pig, and the pelican all start with the letter P. Okay, so what I want you to do at your house, okay, I want you to find two things in your house that start with the letter P, okay? It could be anything. And then take a picture of it and send it to Miss Z, okay? Now, this little segment of our video was going over some phonics instruction that we are required to do for RISE training if the parents were just wondering um, what this segment of the video was about. That was, um, we do still do phonics instruction and uh, this is just a fun way to deliver that. Um, one last thing, let's go over our environmental print really quick. Now, when I talk to y'all, I'm gonna start FaceTiming you guys once or twice a week and we'll probably start that at least Friday, I'm gonna to try to get everybody at least once. I'm gonna ask you what these two signs are and I need you to be able to tell me which I can. So remember what this is? This is a stop sign 
Even if you're walking down your street, you've still got to know what they what it is, okay? And this sign is what? Don't litter. Don't throw your water bottle in your yard. Don't throw your water bottle out the car window or your Coke can or your chip bag. And if it starts to blow away in somebody's yard, take some time to try to go get it, okay? Try to go get it. So anyway, that's just what I have for today. Um, the next video you'll watch today is going to be a math video, okay? Um, and we're gonna practice some dollar up and we're gonna practice some um, calculating our pay if we work. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. As always, I miss you, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.